All right, Gabs, on to the slap shot. Okay, so I would uh, guess just from watching this video through, this is uh, one of the strengths of your game, your repertoire, especially with your shooting. Um, obviously not seeing you on ice use it, but uh, just looking at your mechanics here for uh, your slap shot, you've got a lot of, uh, you do a great job using your body, uh, a ton of real positives here through your slap shot. So I just want to start off, the first thing I want to talk about is your load. Uh, so if we watch your follow through, first thing I want to challenge you to do here just over the next little bit as you're shooting uh, is just having that ability with your wind up um, to have your ability when you bring the pot, uh, your stick back, instead of bringing our stick all the way up into a position here, bringing it back where we're just in a position or more here, almost like a half slap shot. Um, it allows you to be able to get the, st uh, the puck on and off your stick a little bit quicker. The other thing it allows you to do is it allows you to stay low into your shot. So if you notice your wind up here, how high you come up and you look at your legs, okay, and you can see how straight your legs are. Okay, so your legs are almost all the way straight, okay, and all that comes from that wind up. Uh, so I just challenge you with your wind up uh, when you're shooting at home, just work basically to generate power right from this position. So we should be able to take a slap shot right from that spot, gets it on and off your stick a little bit quicker. Okay, the second thing with this is I want you to focus now with our slap shot. Whenever we talk about a slap shot, the first thing that happens is we make contact behind the puck. Okay, so right away what we talk to players about, and the same thing applies to you here too. On your wind up, okay, you want to think about having the ability to rotate your top hand. Okay, when you do that, what's going to happen is your toe of your stick is going to point down. So now if we watch and we go through right to the point of contact, okay, when we hit the ice or the ground, that allows us to keep our blade nice and solid and square. Okay, and allows us to be solid as we come down and through. So right here, if you have that toe down, okay, you want your toe to hit the ice first. Okay, it's going to allow you to keep your blade nice and closed. Okay, as you come through to shoot the puck. Okay, last thing here I want to talk about is just uh, your puck positioning. So we're going to watch these next two examples, okay, and I want you to watch where your puck is positioned. So this first one, we're going to notice the puck's way back in our stance. Okay, and if you watch what happens with that puck positioning, is watch you try to rotate the hips, but you're limited, okay, because it's so far back in your stance. Your puck positioning is almost in line with your back foot. So it really limits your ability to use your rotation, okay, and be able to create any torque as you're coming through. Okay, so we'll watch the next one here. So now you change your puck positioning. You notice your puck positioning is a little bit more in front. Okay, just off that front foot and right away from this position, I want you to be able to see your rotation now. Look at your rotation, look at the position of your hands, okay, look at your ability to follow through. So what I want you to take away from this, I want you to take away uh, the understanding of the positioning of where you want your puck. So for you, you know as a shooter that your comfortable spot is just off your front foot, okay, off of that heel of the front foot. And when you have a puck in that position, it now allows you naturally, with your rotation and your great follow-through, to be able to, to create a ton of torque. So just by getting that puck into that proper position, you can see how naturally it allows you to get your great weight transfer, your rotation, your hips, okay, which is phenomenal. Leads you right into that position to be able to take that shot. And leads you right to the follow-through. Okay? So identifying where that puck is, is a huge component for you. Okay, so big things on your slap shot, Gavs. Just to wrap up here, okay, on your uh, wind up or your load, okay, limiting your backswing, okay, is a big thing for you. Uh, other things that we talked about within this is your ability now to have your toe down on your backswing, okay, to limit uh, the amount of uh, your, you want your toe down first as you're coming down when you shoot, okay, that allows you to have your blade nice and square as you make contact with the puck. And the last thing we talked about here uh, is your puck positioning. So know it. Okay, Know where you like to have the puck. Know that you're a person who likes to have it off that front foot. Okay, Just off that back heel.